Hello to everyone. Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shabi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for you all. I was supposed to do this yesterday, so I apologize for those of you who was anticipating that message yesterday. Some things did come up, um, but you know, I'm bringing this message today because I posted a few photos uh, the past couple of days in regards to some things that I've been seeing in nature, okay? Um, one of them specifically was in regards to the trees. Now, or just plant life itself. Now, we've been taught since early age that the plants are alive, right? That they have life. Um, but we've been taught to distinguish their life as being different from ours, as if because they don't talk and walk and do the things that we do, um, that they're not alive in the way that we are alive. But it's been revealed through photos and through my own, um, you know, in my own experience, because I'm out in nature so often. I'm always connecting with the trees. I'm always connecting with Mother Earth. I'm always connecting with nature in different ways. And, um, you know, I have found that a lot of my spiritual uploads have come through my direct connection with nature itself. Um, and so looking at the trees, you know, the more that I've been out and experiencing nature, I'm able to see like different images, different faces, you know, um, I personally see these things and there are others obviously that notice these things as well, but you'll never, most people would never come out and say it because obviously most of the world will say that you're crazy, largely because most of the world is walking zombies. And they're not paying attention to these things. Most of the world, most people that exist are not even connecting with nature. They have no connection to nature whatsoever. And so those of us who are awakened here in the age of Aquarius are starting to come into an understanding that this planet, planet Earth, Mother Earth is alive, okay? It is alive. It is breathing. It is um, full of wisdom. It is uh, full of healing properties um the more that you connect the more that you come to understand this and you know it's always been known like for those people who have what they call a green thumb those people who plant you know they'll say things like well when i when i talk to my plants they tend to thrive more um and especially when i say loving things to my plants and i you know give them loving affirmations and things of that nature that's because these plants and these trees and all of nature is alive okay and one thing that the enemy did not want us to understand, that's why we was put to sleep, okay? The original beings of the land, those of us who are natural beings, um, organic beings, were put to sleep by the inorganic beings, okay? And so they handed to, to us everything that was in opposition to who we are. So when we got put to sleep, the organic beings got put to sleep, so did nature, and I'm not just talking about the plants, I'm talking about the water, I'm talking about the air, I'm talking about everything that we received our information from. And we was able to, you know, look at the plant life, the animal life, we was able to look at the water, the sun, the cosmos, and we was able to awaken and gather much wisdom through that. It also got put to sleep because we are, as the human being, the original, I'm not talking about just uh mankind because there's a difference between mankind which is someone that's kind of like a man versus a human being okay the original the organic ones we got put to sleep and so did everything that exists around us okay so now what was okay so let me tell y'all what happened I was in my car about three days ago because y'all know many of you know I took a photo of the rainbows and I put that on my community page so you can go back and check that out after you watch this if you haven't seen it yet. So I was driving in my car. I had a long ride to take and I was just as I was riding I was giving thanks to the wind. You know I was speaking to the trees as I was going through a heavily forested area um, and so I was speaking to the trees and giving thanks to them for the love that they're projecting and emitting out into the universe. And then I had a spiritual upload that said, we have to break the curses off of Mother Nature. And when I got that message, I had chills that went all through my body. And so about 10 minutes later, I finally made it to my destination. I made it back to where I reside. And 
it first of all there was no evidence that it was going to rain the sky was sunny soon as i pulled up into the parking lot i got out of the car and the rain started pouring down on me i'm talking about i got soaking wet within like 2.5 seconds and i was getting frustrated because i'm like oh my goodness let me hurry and get my children out the car y'all know i have six children and so i was like come on y'all let's go let's go you know so and i didn't want to get soaking wet because i had my phone in my hand i wasn't prepared for that okay it came out of nowhere so we all got upstairs i sat down for a minute and I told them, you know, my children was looking outside at the rain, and but it was still extremely sunny outside. And so I told them, I said, well, we might end up seeing a rainbow. And two seconds later, my daughter was like, there is a rainbow. So I jumped up because at this point I was so excited. I was like a, a newborn child that just, or a little child that received their first doll baby. I was so excited. So I was like, oh my goodness, it was a double rainbow. So I started taking photos of it, okay? Snapped a few shots of it didn't really look back at the photos you know I let my children see the photos but I was just in awe of looking at the rainbow until it finally went away so I ended up posting a photo for you all and when I looked at the photos the first one that I saw there was an eye in the sky and I was like wow that's actually an eye and I said well, okay I'm gonna post this photo and see if anybody notices that this eye is here so one other queen she recognized the eye because obviously she has the spiritual eyes to see she recognized it right away so I said okay now that she sees it because I was waiting for somebody to say something I said well let me go ahead and post this photo and highlight where the eye is at so I did that so then as I'm looking through the other photos I see this image of something that looked like a ship that was coming through the rainbows and many of you told me that okay well the rainbows are portals which is something that I personally did not know and um, that a lot of times through these portals a lot of these um, ships they come through this is where you know we're able to connect um, the other uh, beings that exist in a cosmos come through these portals and so I was like well that's pretty interesting because I literally had a photo of that which I did not see through my physical eyes when I was looking at the rainbow um, but I did see it when I was observing the photos. And so there was a few other things that I saw. And so I said, well, let me go look at my other photos of nature because y'all know, even when I did that video about the lightning that struck in front of the White House, I was told, take a look at this thunder more closely because there's something that you're supposed to see. That's what my spiritual team told me and that's what I did. And that's when I, I did the screenshot of the video that I had taken off of the news broadcast. And I looked closely and there I saw all of those faces of those demons. And so I went to go look at my other photos where I took pictures of nature and I saw the faces it's clear as day inside of the trees, inside of the bush. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, once your spiritual eyes open. Big girl, go do it again. Um, once your spiritual eyes are open, there's just, there's just things that you cannot unsee, okay? And as much as it's like, okay, well, if I see this, is this really real? Is my mind playing tricks on me? At this point, I'm 100% convinced that we have not been here alone and that a large part of our existence and our evolutionary process is going to be um, connected to us breaking the spells and the curses off of nature, off of the elements, off of, you know, the land. Because when we got put underneath the spell and this curse of the, of the enemy, of the inorganic ones, so did nature. Everything else followed suit, okay? And so I've been very clear, the messages that have been coming through, we've been no, learning that we had to break the generational curses off of ourselves, off of our ancestors, off of our offspring. Um, off of the other side of our children's uh, family as well so that they could be covered on both ends We've been breaking the generational curses off the divine masculine divine feminine. We've been breaking it off of um, the, the the contractual agreements that, that our ancestors um, Agreed to underneath the spell we've been doing a lot and now the assignment that I have been given I've already done it So I'm bringing it to you all the assignment that I have been given is to break the curses off of mother nature off of the cosmos off of um you know the, the elements everything that exists in nature all organic living creatures and things we break the curses off of the entire body and if some of you might recall 
it might have been a couple of months back i don't remember the name of the video but i had a dream where i was there was uh some police officers that was trying to tackle they was trying to attack me or they was trying to kidnap me because that's what they do they kidnap people they ain't got no business being out here any damn way they was trying to kidnap me and the land started to move on my behalf to protect me from these people and they were so mad because they couldn't get to me and now you know fast forward ahead till today i'm realizing that nature the trees the land the the waters the wind all of these things we work in unison with these things and so when we break the curses off of ourselves we have to be intentional of breaking it off of the off of everything that exists all organic beings and living things that exist so that they now work for us they now work with us we are now in unison we are one okay and so um what i did personally i wanted to write it down but i didn't so i'll just come verbatim off of my head and if you any of you decide to do this which i hope that you do but i always told y'all two or more is enough so i've done it i know it's gonna be one other person out there that does it with me i just looked at my clock and it said 11 11 my timer so i know it's going to be at least one other person that does this with me but the more the better because we are a collective body christ consciousness in the age of aquarius and we're doing great things and we're making moves that our ancestors did not make but they was waiting on us to do these things and so it's exciting to know that we've been given such great assignments and things are going to shift because of us being willing vessels and taking on these uh, assignments um you know with passion so this is a declaration that I can think of off my head. And like I said, if you do it, you can add to it. If you want to add to it, you know, leave it in the description, uh, in the comments below so that we can have more ideas on how to do it. But I've done it myself already. So I said something like, um, I declare and decree that all spells, curses, dark magic, evil intentions that have been placed over all organic living things and beings are now destroyed and cast out forevermore in spirit and in flesh, in sleep and awakened state, across all timelines, realms, and dimensions known and unknown. And then I burned it, okay? And I called on my spiritual team, as well as the universal, the elemental, and the cosmic spirits of love and light to ensure that these things actually come to pass. And then, of course, once you clear something out in the spiritual realm, you want to go back and you want to create after that. And so I ended up lighting a candle. Y'all know I like to get my candles from the Dollar Tree, the glass candles. And I, you know, take the labels off and I get a permanent marker and I write on them. So I'm using the element of fire to both destroy as well as the element of fire to create. And so with the candle, I am creating. And so I wrote on there, um, I declare and decree that all organic living things and creatures and beings are now in, in alignment, balanced, and free. Um, and I believe I might have added that it has also received its power back. I wish I would have written this down, but okay, so that's the gist of it in spirit and in flesh. And then I let it burn through and called on my spiritual team to assist me in, ma in making these things happen, as well as the cosmic universal elemental spirits of love and light to come in as well. Um, and so that's been done. My candle is almost out. It's halfway through at this point. And so this is why... I'm giving you all this message so that you can, you can come in and join me in um, doing this, um, this assignment, okay? Because this is something that I don't know if any of you have ever thought to do this. I didn't even think to do this, you know? And so when I saw those photos, it's like the, the nature, the life that is within nature is wanting to show itself to us now. So for those of you, I saw another, um, I think it was a young lady who said that she was sitting down and the bushes was, she, she was looking at a bush and it was smiling at her. <laughs> and when she looked away, um, it was, it was no longer there. And so, um, many of you, when your spiritual eyes is open, if your spiritual eyes is open right now, you are able to see things that the natural person who is still asleep cannot see, okay? Or maybe they refuse to see it. Maybe they refuse to accept it when they do see it. But see, we are a different breed of people today. We are not um, following the trend. We are not worried about others' opinions of, oh, well, this person is crazy and this person. This is what the 
enemy wanted us to believe. You know, it's people like us that the enemy would love to put into a, a, a psych ward and don't, you know, dope us up with a bunch of medications that's going to keep us in a zombie like state all day, every day, because they do not want this type of information to get out. They don't want us stepping into our authority and, you know, casting out the spells that they have placed over the land and over our people. Because when we do this, it's so many things that's getting that that's already shifting. But the more that we become aware of what is happening around us and the more that we become aware of life forms and how life exists in many ways, even outside of ourselves, that's when we say, OK, now I see that there's more work that needs to be done. And we put in the work. And because we put in the work, changes happen, greater changes than we could ever imagine. And this is what these people were so afraid of. OK, and so, you know, I just so happened. I just realized I'm wearing my green head scarf today. You know, I'm feeling I'm feeling connected. You know, when I sat down by this tree, these are the types of things that I do on a regular basis anyway. I know our ancestors had to do this because these things naturally come to me to sit down by a tree and to, you know, I acknowledge the trees just like I would acknowledge a person that I'm walking past. You see what I'm saying? If they're not a zombie. But um, I acknowledge them, you know, I give thanks to them for being here. Thanks for the beautiful energy that they're projecting. I send them my love and my healing, you know, and I also ask them for their wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because these trees are ancient. They've been here, you know, since before, you know, hundreds, you know, hundreds of years. Who knows how long these trees have been standing, okay? And so they've witnessed much. They, they've received much, you know, many spiritual uploads through the sun because that's what they do. They're constantly taking in the energy of the sun and then they're connected, directly rooted into Mother Earth. And so I'm always connected. And so I feel like this is why nature has been communicating with me so strongly. And so what I wanted to tell you all in regards to the rainbow, I strongly believe that when I was in the car, I received the revelation that we needed to break the curses off of um, all organic living things and nature and that was my sign the double rainbow with the eye in the sky and the the ship that came through the portal or whatever it is that I was seeing you know all of these things came in just a matter of, uh, of within a, a matter of 20 minutes after I had that revelation I told y'all I had chills all through my body and so it was like that was a sign that said yes this is the answer that's going to open up doors. This is the answer that's going to bring about miracles and blessings that you could never imagine, not just for yourself, but for humanity as a whole. And for all those who are in organic beings who have been working against those of us who are organic beings, living things and life, they now are going to be shut down because the earth is no longer going to welcome their energy. It's just like when you awaken as a physical being, as a human being, and you say, okay, there are things within my physical vessel that works, that's working in opposition to me. And so I'm going to start doing things that's going to shift my cellular makeup. It's going to shift the way that my DNA um, expresses itself. And you start doing fasting and you start, you know, juicing and you go on an all alkaline diet and all of these things. Not saying that I'm strictly doing that right now. Oh, sorry, y'all. I had a phone call. I was hoping that my video didn't get cut off, but I have done these things, okay? And I'm getting back to balancing my diet back out just to let y'all know, okay? Because a girl over here, I did fall off a little bit, but we all do, okay? And so the beautiful thing about waking up and having the breath of life every single day is that you get to start all over again whenever you're ready, okay? Balance that thing back out. So just as just like you all would do this for your physical body when there's things that's happening within you that's working in opposition to the homeostasis and you having your best health when you do that your body is naturally going to start to reject and rid itself of all toxins that do not belong there and so because we are doing this as physical vessels and we're we're speaking out on behalf of nature knowing that we are a part of nature we're breaking the curses and these cycles off of ourselves and nature the the earth is going to start to reject all inorganic people play eat people and things it's going to be naturally rejected and so i feel like this is why these people are scrambling because they you know well, we need to block out the sun we need to do this we need to do that they're creating all of these inorganic uh fruits and vegetables and everything that's inorganic to the to the land what's natural out here okay they are purposely, strategically coming up with ways to make everything as inorganic and unnatural as possible. But while they're doing that, we over here doing everything possible to balance this thing back out. 
and who's going to win in this thing? Who's going to win? Those who operate from honor and integrity or those who operate from wickedness? Y'all already know the answer to that, okay? But see, it was just a matter of us awakening to what integrity looked like. It was a matter of us awakening to what balancing and bringing justice looked like. Because before, you know, you as a chosen seed, you might have always been the type of person who... You, you couldn't stand things that were unjust. You couldn't stand to see someone being, you couldn't stand someone being mistreated. Even in, in you know, grade school, that was me. You know, I couldn't stand, I was, I was the type of person where I was extremely quiet and introverted, but let me see something going on where there's some unjustified stuff and I'm on the front line. You see what I'm saying? And so now in our awakened state, you, you think you were standing up for justice back then. Look at what we're doing now. In our awakened state, we recognize that the, the type of warrior spirit that we're needing to embody and to exemplify is one that is fighting off all of these things that these people did against us, these inorganic beings did against us in the spiritual realm. And so because as above, so below, we are shifting this thing spiritually. And so things are going to manifest beautifully in the physical. We are creating that heaven on earth. Okay. And so those people who are far behind, who still mistreating themselves, who still mistreating others, who still don't care about nature. They don't care about, you know, balancing things out. They don't care about justice. Those people. Okay, baby, give me one second. Those people are also going to be, they're going to fall behind because they're low. They're operating too low. So that's the message that I have for you all. And so if any of you all want to add to the declaration, whether it's for the destruction of the curses off of nature or for the creating, then feel free to do so. Leave your comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want a private reading from me, please be sure to email me. I do charge for my private readings and also to order my oils for my um, hair and body. I'd be happy to assist you all. I love you all. And I'll talk to you all next time.